Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Industry Manager Future Technologies. So where we left off in our last video is we had started to work on some software products. We had gotten into the network plugin, uh, we had gotten into PC games, and then finally console games. Uh, once we found out that PC games were not the place to be because uh, our selling price was well below our cost. So, so that was not going to be beneficial for us. So we stopped that. At this particular point in time, you can say we've used up all the shops available. So it is time for us to upgrade as we continue to expand the products that we're going to offer. Also along those lines, you can see here that, you know, we're selling a couple of hundred here, but the demand is way, way over that, you know, about 10 times more than that. So we're going to go ahead and increase the amount that we're offering for sale. So we're going to increase our supply, uh, continue to keep an eye on the demand and see if indeed the demand stays at that high number. Okay, so now we've opened up the, the ability to have many more products for sale. We'll come back. So again, 10 times as many. Now, I don't plan on going through that because um, I like to add some variety, uh, not only for you guys, but for me as well, because I get tired of of doing the same thing over and over in these things. So I like to keep it keep it fresh for me as well as for you. And I'll sacrifice a little bit of, of profitability as long as it keeps things uh, and keeps me interested in the game and hopefully you guys as well. Let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit after we take a look at our research. All right, so we've gotten, if we come back into our software, you can see, all right, we've now gotten two out of two. Now we can work our way through two out of two on these. You can see we've got one of our competitors that's here with us. So we may have some competition um, after two terribly long here. So they are, they're working their way through as well. Let's go ahead and do the same here and we'll fill up. All right. So we just have one remaining there and then I'll come back in and work on the production line cost as well. Trying to get down our cost as much as possible. Now let's go ahead. Now that we've got our research queued up, let's go ahead and now we've got both of these that will be online. We come in, upgrade our workforce, First thing, we're going to continue to make a few more of these video games before we move on to something else. We'll make the console game, and you can see production cost at $24, so that could be lowered uh, quite a bit. Let's take a quick look at our breakdown. Well, well, production line cost only $0.55 cents out of this $14.95, so not a terrible amount, so I'm not sure how much cost there really is for us to save. So another 114, 115 of those. Let's set up our warehouse. And again, because we're already selling this product, that was very simple. Put down our software company, a few upgrades, hire some workers, and we're off and running. That's why, why I really love the software industry here. It is a great beginner uh, product to sell or series of products to sell. So let's do finished goods. All right, so everything is in line there. All right, let's come back over, make sure that all these are selling and we haven't had anything odd happen. All right, looks like 439. I would imagine we have very few being sold in the other cities right now. Yeah, that is definitely the case. All right, take a quick look at our graph to see how much money we're actually bringing in in profit. Oh, wow, we're up to 21,806. So you can see now we've eclipsed in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, we've now eclipsed 400,000 in profit per day. Excellent. All right, with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and put down a couple more of these before we're gonna move on to some other software products. I'm gonna to try to use, use this as best I can, the software, uh, just to give us a hedge because we've spent so much time uh, so far in this uh, Let's Play series as opposed to our first Let's Play series in the game, we spent so much time in the biotech that I know our time is coming where we're going to get one of these messages that pops up just at the perfect time and says that, oh, by the way, the demand for everything biotech is going to tank. We might also get one of those that says everything in software is going to tank. It's only a matter of time. It's coming. So whenever that happens, we'll have to, we'll have to make some corrections and, and do a pivot and change some things up. But until then, we're going to go ahead and 
and do our best to make as much money as we can to try to prepare for the bad times that are indeed coming. All right, okay. So our game automatically pauses when these pop up. Let's see how everybody's doing. So we've managed in balance, which is down here. You can see 264 million. Our balance, we've slightly gone ahead of the yellow team, but the red team is uh, well ahead of us there. Company value, again, we've eclipsed the yellow team for now. Uh, but every everybody is still doing great. The red team is, is definitely winning. Uh, revenue, we've definitely upped our revenue, that's for sure. Uh, but we've also upped our expenses. Okay, so, uh, and, and they're way ahead of me on research. I, again, I find it hard to believe at this point that they have anything remaining to research with as much as they're spending on that. Uh, buildings, I'm spending a lot more on buildings, which makes sense given, you know, all the software and then the oil and refinery type buildings that I've taken care of. Uh, let's see, global market, they're doing extensive work there. And so buildings, everything looks pretty good. You can see they've branched out into the stock market. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. Oh, let me set this up while I'm at it. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn time back on. Let's head to, oops, wrong button. Let's head to the stock market. You can see we haven't sold any, we haven't raised any money. Uh, we're not messing with any side quests. So we haven't raised any money. We still own 100% of our company. The yellow team has sold off 24% of their company. And then finally, 19% for the red team. So they're raising money uh, using that as one of their methods. Uh, it's hard to use the bank in this game because it seems like you know, every few minutes we get uh, something new that tells us that the bank is no longer lending money or they're causing problems with the economy and so forth. So the AI is doing great. Uh, and I am very pleased by that. Let's go ahead and make another 115 here. Transportation. Get our warehouse all set up. Okay, let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit there. Let's make sure that all of our software. Okay, so we've all of the software companies that we've built are now selling. Let's come back in, take a quick glance. You can see our increased quantities here, but we're still. We could continue to build software companies that make console games and probably fill up two more sectors with this. Because remember, not only do we have this demand, but we've got two more cities to fill up as well. So we've got tons and tons of demand here. But what I want to do now is we've got plenty of room still in this sector. And each one of these software companies is only using 40 workers. So, you know, if I had 10 of these, that would just be 400 workers out of the total 773. So I think we're okay. I think we're doing just fine. So let's go ahead and build some more software companies, but we're going to focus on a different product this time. And let's go ahead and put down actually a few more of these. And let's see, am I going to have enough room to fit? No, nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. So let's go ahead and put down a total of three additional ones. Okay, and I think we're going to run out of workers probably before we run out of, of space, but we'll see. Oops, not that. Uh, we may need advanced research. Let's see what we want to, to build here. Okay, I don't want the embedded systems. I want the antivirus. And the reason is because it doesn't require any resources. So we're going to go antivirus. Okay, so it looks like about $21 there. And, and a breakdown of our cost, if it will pop up for us. There we go. Feature costs are $20.40. Now, that's what, if we come back over here, that's what the two out of two in all of these, the first level that we unlock gives us the ability to make the various products. The second level decreases our cost. You can see here that will decrease by 8% and so on. Let's go ahead and queue the last two there. Let's see. This one has a final one as well. All right, and that should take care of this with the exception of the production line cost. All right, and let's see, what are we making here? Okay, these are our three new ones. I almost forgot which three I just put down. All right, so we are making, okay, I did go ahead and put that, but I forgot to put quantities. So we can make about 100 of these a day. That will do just fine. And set up our finished goods warehouse 
to get these. Let's go ahead and before I get too in depth with the other two, let's come in and open up a new shop for our finished goods and the anti virus you can see here it wants us to put the pc games in that's because we have some remaining in the warehouse uh they're just going to stay there for now all right let's see what we have oh and immediately this does not look good so before things get too out of hand let's go ahead and put where just above break even here and let's see if we're going to be able to sell now well, there's the bank causing trouble again these developers don't seem to to like banks very much at all all right, so already I can tell things are not going well with selling amounts, and it just occurred to me that, well, I tell you what, let's don't set up a, another shop just yet. Let's take a moment here and see how things are selling. Um, either way, even if we're managing to sell some, we're virtually making no profit here. And if we take a, a glance here, you can see, I mean, $1,200 isn't going to make us rich for, by any stretch. So this doesn't appear as though it's going to be a product we really want to mess with. Uh, we're going to give this just a little bit more time. I'm going to go ahead and put this at 79, and let's give it a, a moment here to run through. My guess is that we're going to be able to sell virtually any of these. Yeah, there we go. So we're down to zero. Okay, that tells me what I need to know. So we're going to go ahead and shelf that. We're not going to be making that product anymore because we can't make any money on it. Okay, so we go ahead, come back into our product line, get rid of that, and let's see what else there we have out there. Okay, so we're not making embedded systems simply because we have to get into mining and everything, and I really don't want to mess with that at this juncture. All right, educational software. Again, no resources needed. Wow, that is a huge amount of cost. And how many of these can we make? All right, so we can make about 20 a day. Okay, let's go ahead and set up finished goods and now they will start making that let's come back over to our storefront and so now we've got our empty shop finished goods and our educational software okay once again wow this is bad so i'm going to go ahead and set our price at 300 again it's still not making very much money we'll give it an opportunity to see you know, it could simply be that I missed one of those uh, pop-up news items that said, hey, you, you know, the demand for these is greatly reduced or the, the, the price is going to be greatly reduced. All right, so we've got a strike. So the game is throwing everything it can at us. All right, let's see. Well, we're selling a few here, but again... If I come back into this screen, you can see we're not making any money. Uh, I mean, we're managing to sell a few here, but I'm going to go ahead and take this up to about 350 because, again, if we're going to be selling these at all, we're going to have to make some money, and it appears this is going to head down to zero. Yep, and there it heads. So before it gets all the way there, let's go ahead and confirm that we're getting rid of that. Let's go ahead and stop production. Okay, and before I try, I try a new software item, let's come back into our finished goods. And there's a couple of things I want to do here. First and foremost, I want to... Let's lower these limits. So these products that we've made and can't sell, I want to make sure that, that these don't get out of hand just in case I should happen to forget to stop production on one of them for some reason. So let's go ahead and do this. Because the idea here of this particular warehouse is that basically quantity shouldn't really uh, increase too much. Uh, looks like these are increasing a little bit per day, but not terribly bad. Uh, but we've got measures in place to take care of that. And I want to make sure that that remains the case. All right. Also, I want to come in and purchase the storage increase. We don't really need it right now. But let's go ahead and do that just to have it in place. All right. We're not messing with the side quest. All right. So we're only using 12% here. Let's take a quick glance, make sure none of the maxes are out of hand. Okay. Everything is good there. All right. So we're not having any luck here. 
with new software products. All right, let's move on. Media development, again, no resources required. We're going to give this one a shot. How many of these can we make? About 21 of these. And let's add a third shot at this. Okay, let's go ahead and get a few of them manufacturing. Okay, come back into our shop. And let's give it another shot. Media development. And okay, so it looks good initially here. Let's see how many of these sell, if any. All right. Okay, that looks good. So we've got, uh, we're, I forgot how many we're making actually of these. Let's take a quick glance up here. We're making, okay, about 21 a day. Now, if we come back to our storefront, that should even out at, yeah, about 21. So we're selling at uh, about, we'll, we'll call that double cost, a little bit more than that actually. But so that's pretty good. This is something that we do want to use. So we're making 21, but there's a huge demand. So what that does is it tells me that along with probably being able to make some pricing adjustments to increase our profit, we also have the ability to make many more of these. Let's see, media development. Let's come back and, oops, not the quality, the quantity. Make 21 more of these. It's a shame we can only make 21 per day in one of these warehouses, but even with the workforce upgrade, 40 workers can make 21 per day. And let's come into our final new one and do the same thing, media development. And let's go ahead and make the maximum per day. We'll set up our warehousing. Okay. So now this will give us, I believe, about 60 to 62 or 3 per day that we can sell and sure enough there they are okay so once again uh, the unit stored is really not increasing so yeah it's going up to about three and it comes back down and it goes back up so we're in good shape there so we can make some more of these let's see what type of profit we're getting from selling these okay so we're getting north of 18,000 per day I like that let's go ahead and use this opportunity to build a few more. All right, let's get into our buildings. And let's go ahead and place a few more of these down. I mean, there's a ton of demand that we're never going to be able to meet here uh, simply because I'm not going to take the time to build all the software companies that would be necessary to do that because there would be a ton of them. Okay, and of course, now we're getting to the point where uh, we're starting to infringe. Looks like we've got a, a little ranch going on over here that we're about to infringe upon. Okay, we'll let these uh, finish up. And in the meantime, we'll come in, workforce upgrade. All right, media development. And make our maximum of 21 per day. All right. So I'll take that and then our other two new ones as well. And where is it? Media development, 21 per day. So far, so good. All right, I like it. And now let's go over to our final one. Oops, let's purchase the workforce upgrade. I did purchase that one and the other. Yes, I did. Sometimes I get a little bit ahead of myself and forget to do a few of these steps and usually don't realize it sometimes at all. And then other times I don't realize it until much later, uh, well after the video has been uh, posted sometimes. All right, so we're in good shape there. We have, I believe, doubled our output to about 120 or so. Okay, so we're up to 150. Still plenty of demand. I mean, we could triple what we're making right now. Uh, let's take a look right now and see that we're making another 36,000. So if we look in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, we're now up over 460,000 in profit. 
Now, with that in mind, let's go ahead. This is looking pretty lonely over here. Let's go ahead and start building over here. Again, I haven't been counting the number of workers we're using, so we may not be anywhere near that 773, but because it's a big map and I want to get into using more of it, let's go ahead and branch out a little bit here. All right, let's put down a few more of these. Oh, and right in the middle of doing that, we're interrupted. Let's see how everybody is doing. Okay, so our balance has increased 20%, but you can see the AI pretty much right there with us. Uh, company value, we've been hard at work on some software, so our, we're leading the way here, but again, they're right there with me. Revenue, I'm leading the way, but I'm also leading the way in cost. Let's see, nobody bought any sectors. They're still doing well. I am extremely pleased. Uh, bravo to the developers here. They've really come a long way with the AI. I am very happy uh, to say that. So. Excellent job to the developers on the AI from this most recent update. Let's go ahead and speed things up. And I'm going to put down a third software company about right there. Let's see. We've got, okay, 666 for the workforce here. Uh, we originally purchased this for the oil, which you can see we're getting there. All right, so let's see what our next product is going to be. All right, workforce upgrade gets us to our maximum of 40. All right, so we just did media development. Let's see what we need for operating systems. Okay, we need the advanced research upgrade, no problem. Take care of that. All right, so what do we need for operating system? No resources, that's what we want. It's gonna be fairly expensive to make, but the most important thing is the profit we have the potential of making. So we can only make about 12 a day. All right, so we'll go ahead and have that get started. And because we're on fast forward, they will go ahead and make several of these before I have an opportunity to get back over to our storefront and open up a shop for it. So finished goods and our operating system. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like it opens it up not quite double the cost. Let's see how they sell at that cost. Okay, so far so good. Okay, there's our 12 a day. So let's see how that stacks out. Uh, so about 4,400. But you can see the demand is absolutely monstrous here. And again, remember, this is only one of three cities. All right, so we've got plenty of demand here for our product. So we've already got this one going. Let's come to our two new ones and take a glance in here, do some upgrades and make some operating systems. Make our 12 additional ones per day. This should put us up to about I believe, what was it, about 4,400 we were making off of the 12 per day. So this should double that to about nine grand. Okay, and with that in mind, we'll come over to our final new shop and purchase a couple of upgrades. And so now we're into operating systems. Maximum quantity of 12 and we'll set up our transportation. Okay, excellent. Now we know we've got much more demand than that, but let's take a quick glance back over at our store. Again, you can see we're not even making a dent in this number, but as we let this come through, so we're making about 36 a day at this point, so we're selling 38, so that's right in line. And so we're making up, we're up to about 14 grand per day, okay? So that's actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and add in a few more of those. Let's add in three more shops. And we'll see what other products we can offer. Okay, now we're up to, we'll let this the buildings uh, go ahead and get built. All right, there we go. We've worked our way through it. So we're now up close to 480,000. All right, so now we've got our new 
software company. Uh, advanced research we'll probably need, but let's take a look at what other products we have. Let's move on and see integrated development. Okay, we do need the advanced research. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so we've worked our way through all of these products, or at least the ones that we have an interest in building. Integrated development environment, okay, requires no resources. So instantly I'm interested. And so we can make 13 of these per day. Let's set up our allocations. And so we're good there. Let's come back over to our storefront and open up a, oops, let's open up a new product to sell. And let's see what we get. Oh, wow, that is no good at all. So let's go ahead and immediately increase that and see if we get any sales at all. Let's let that fast time fast forward a little bit. And yep, we're headed down towards zero sold. Man, I certainly hate that. Okay. So that means that this product is no good to us. Let's come back over while I'm thinking about it. And let's try to, just in case, let's try to future-proof this thing for when I inevitably forget about coming back to making these. Because I'm sure I will. All right, so I think we're pretty well good to go there okay looks like it all right let's come back over and which one of these was our our new one that we're making these at operating system see i've already forgotten there we go integrated development so let's come back out so this one is making operating system so here are our new three i'd already forgotten so we'll go ahead and come back to our product screen stop making those and let's see what else we've got Database management, no resources required. Let's give it a shot. It is very expensive to make, it appears. All right, maximum production of a little over 16 per day. Finished goods warehouse and database management. And so we'll let it, oh, we don't want to be paused. So let's let that go ahead and get underway. Okay open up our new shop and let's hope for the best. Okay, so we're we're better than double here now. Let's make sure everything is going to sell. So we're at 39, looks like our demand is is well over that. So we're about 7 or 8 times on our demand there. That's that's great. Okay, so we're selling as many as as we're making each day and about 6400 each. All right, I like it. I like it quite a bit. So this is a product that we can definitely increase our production of. And let's see. So we're running out of products here. Database management. Let's see. Wait a minute. Is that the one I want? Yes, database management. Again, getting confused. Running through these products fast and furiously. So, all right. So here we're able to make 16.8, 16.8 in our second factory as well. Okay, so they're off and running. Now we come to our third factory and or software company rather. So we're able to do the same thing here. So another 16 there. And we'll set up our warehouse. Okay. So let's come back over and make sure that we're selling all of these. And it looks like we are indeed. Okay. So the demand is still well out ahead of us. And so now we're making 19,000. And it has allowed us, if we look in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, to reach just over 500,000 in profit per day. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and put down a few more of these because we are almost done with software for our purposes anyway. And nope, don't want to worry about anything you've got going on. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we're not even touching the other cities here. So there is plenty of demand left for software. We just have to find 
which products are selling and which ones are not. And again, rather than really running through the demand and maxing out and, and, and meeting the demand in all three cities, I'm simply just going through a few of these uh, and increasing our demand or supply rather a little bit because I want to move on to some other products that we can offer. But if I were doing this uh, off camera, I would definitely be wanting to meet that demand and make as much money as I could off of each and every product. All right, so everything is clicking along just fine. Let's see, are the others done? Yeah, they've just been completed. We'll do our upgrades. Add our product back in. And we'll see what we've got for profit after we get through setting up the final one of these software companies. All right, so last one up, workforce and advanced upgrade, or advanced research upgrade. And here we go. I really want to click on this virtual AI assistant. Every time I want to click on that. So it is drawing my eye. Okay, set up our final steps here and let's see. Okay, production is already started. Okay, so we'll come back out. And now that we've doubled our production, we'll come back over to our storefront and see that, yep, we're doing pretty good here. So now we're selling, looks like around 100 per day. And we're making a little over 38 to $39,000 in addition, oh, and now it's coming back down. Let's see what's happened. And now we're back, so I'm not sure what happened that one day. Okay, appears to have been an anomaly, but at some point I'm, I keep waiting to find, find out that there's competition for us uh, in the software because we already know that, that we're not the only one who's been researching software. Uh, let's see, database management. Daily Supply, that is all of us. I believe this is all us as well. Let's see about software. Yeah, it seems, everything seems to be going well. And I don't really see any obvious signs that we're being affected in, in a negative light. Um, I expect to see the demand going down or something to indicate, uh, perhaps it's something that I'm simply missing or failing to take into account, but so far, so good. We're well up over 500,000 now. We're over 525,000 in daily profit, so things are looking great. And I believe we'll leave it here for this video. So we've done a lot in this video. We've greatly expanded our software product offerings. Uh, we'll take a quick glance to see, you know, what else we might want to, to offer. Looks like there is, oh my goodness, there are several things there. So I'm going to stay away from that one. But we have basically tapped out what we're going to offer for software as far as the number of different products. Definitely haven't tapped out the demand. But thanks for joining me on our Let's Play series and stay tuned for more Industry Manager Future Technologies.